All right, our pressures and temperature on this 2022 Volkswagen Torad, Torg. I can't remember how to say the name, but whatever the hell this vehicle is. We got 40 degrees out of the vents coming right now. And unfortunately, I last, lost all my data tracking because I backtracked too far and erased all my data. I had 15 minutes of data. But basically, we're completely flat at 40 degrees with no change at all. And our outside ambient temperature is 77. Uh, let's see if I can make this so it's not a glare. I'm talking, but I'm not giving you guys clear readings. And uh, it looks like our Apple does not want to focus on this one. Okay, so we got 77 degrees right there. And yeah, it doesn't want to focus. And we have 40 degrees out the dash. You can tell that right there, 70, 44. And our pressures. So our high side pressure right now at 77 degrees ambient, normal, 98 degrees. Uh, PSI, 98 PSI. Low side pressure's been staying perfectly rock steady at 33 PSI. Look at that, from minute zero, to minute two, 33 PSI, no change. Our high side pressure, 98 PSI, 98 PSI. Not even one degree or one PSI of change between high or low side, just a rock steady, no change at all. And 98 PSI for this vehicle under these conditions is normal. I was just going, on, I don't need this on anymore, kill my batteries. That's the Infracon Detect Stratus. You want to get a good one, this is the one to get. All the rest are toys. No, not all the rest. Uh, there's some really good ones out there. Uh, a few. A few. And the, the word is few. Uh, and they don't always have to, your tools can't always just be good. You have to be able to drop them a few times. As you notice, my last one I had before I lost the last one, I dropped several times. And uh, it was pretty beat up. The case had cracks in the plastic case. I broke the bottom of the, the battery holder off of it. I bent it so many times in and out of the case. I was starting to get a little bit of fatigue right here. And actually, I'm gonna put some strain relief on this. I'm gonna put some shrink wrap over this part because I bent it so many times on the other one, I was worried it was gonna finally fail after a couple years. So that's one thing I noticed. Um, for a little small handheld, get the best that uh, OptiPro Max, this is from Tracer Line. So for little flashlights, the Conroy makes a really a smaller flashlight that's super powerful. But if you go to trade, they don't make this exact model. They actually make a more powerful one now. It's about $250, I think it was, when I was at the Melassa MACS Max Convention for Mobile Air Conditioning Society. Uh, I, was, I stopped by the Tracer guys and they had a really good powerful one for $250. Uh, but I, the UV Beast is only $70 to $59, depending on what you, one you wanna get. So that's it, guys, on this 2022 Toroid, Tog, to 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 Thurls, I don't know what the hell it is again. Uh, but I just want you to see what is normal. 98 PSI, that is it. That is normal. I wonder what this one does when you rev it up. Let's rev up the engine and see we're getting a little uh, little condensation going on here because we're nice and cold. Let's uh, look at some pressures. Pressure, pressure, pressures. Everyone likes pressures. Pay attention to superheat, subcooling, and that's because of where I'm taking the subcooling. I gotta look where I'm taking the subcooling. Hey, do we have an idle? Oh no, we don't have an idle. Okay, but I'm revving it up. Right now my foot's on the throttle. I probably have it about, ooh, that sounds about 3,000 RPMs. That's too high. Yeah, that's about 2,500 RPMs. Okay, so I'm holding the idle up. I wonder if there's some way I could put the display on idle. That I don't know. So, I don't know if you can hear the engine. But I'm floating between 18 and 2,500 RPMs because I can't keep a steady foot. And you could see that a little bit on the low side. 
you see the low side right there but look at the high side psi is not even flinching and the low side is almost doing un unnoticeable within one psi change let's go look back at the temperature at this higher elevated rpms nothing still 40 degrees i have a belt driven compressor but it's variable displacement and this is a very very fast acting one it barely moves at all all right guys and i just let it sink back to idle let's see what changed that's right when i took the, my foot off the throttle right there and it's coming right back to where it was over here to where it was over here see that before i did the idle and messed with it and after i let off so variable displacement compressors funny things happen you don't get that high side raise and that low side going down like you normally do and for the old guys who like to whack off the cans and keep shoving them in there until they get a certain pressure this is why i see so many dead burnt up compressors or crack shafts or s slipping clutches because the guys who go and get the cans they don't weigh it in they don't do a vacuum they just guess and they're looking for a pressure on their gauge and you can you can rev up the car all you want but you're not i mean unless you've got an extra pound in there you're not going to get that pressure you want it'll start seizing up the compressor with liquid refrigerant often first see you guys later